There's a lot you can learn about acids and bases, but some of the science might seem a little more familiar. For example, you know how when you open a soda or seltzer bottle, it makes that really nice fizzy noise and it gets all bubbly? Well, there's a really easy way to understand why that happens, and it involves acids. To learn more, grab a plastic cup or a test tube, along with some phenolphthalein and some sodium carbonate. You'll also need some water and a straw. First, fill your cup halfway up with water. Then add two drops of phenolphthalein and one drop of sodium carbonate. It turned just a little bit pink, so I can tell that our liquid is now basic. That's because phenolphthalein is a chemical that turns pink in bases. Now I'm going to push my straw to the bottom of this cup and blow some bubbles just to see what happens. Water turned back to clear! Why in the world would blowing bubbles through the liquid make it go from pink to clear? Phenolphthalein does look clear in the presence of an acid, but why would blowing bubbles turn this liquid from a base into an acid? Well, before I give you the answer, take a second to make a prediction of your own. All right, here's the answer. When I blew bubbles into the test tube, I was actually adding carbon dioxide gas into the water. You exhale carbon dioxide every time you breathe out. It's something your body produces as a waste product of all the chemical reactions that keep your body going. The carbon dioxide reacted with the water to create a new chemical called carbonic acid, which, as the name says, is an acid. And that made the phenolphthalein turn clear. This is actually the same process that factories use to make sodas bubbly. Instead of just having a bunch of people sit around blowing into straws, they used machines to add carbon dioxide to their drinks.